I'm Andrew Edwards and you're watching Gear Live. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus are ready to ship in just a few days. If you haven't pre-ordered and you're still on the fence about whether you want to pick up a Note 10 or Note 10 Plus, then this is the video for you. I've been using the Note 10 Plus for a full week and in this episode I bring you my thoughts on what stands out, what works, and what doesn't. What's going on Tech Squad? Andrew Edwards here, Editor-in-Chief of GearLive.com and as I mentioned today, we are talking about my experience with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now, as I mentioned, I've had this phone in for about a week and I've been using it each day to get more acquainted with it in order to report back to you guys what I think about the device overall. So I figured in this video, I'll talk about the things that stand out to me when I use the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, the various features Samsung touted on stage, and just the little things that I found by using the phone on my own. So let's jump into this one right now, starting with one of the main features of the phone, the display. The dynamic AMOLED display looks terrific, but the phone doesn't seem to create bright whites even when you turn settings to vivid and select for cool tones. The 6.8 inch display is awesome for watching video and reading ebooks though, but it can get a little heavy if you're trying to do those activities while laying down in bed. Now, one thing I do have to say about the display is that those curved edges, I know a lot of people love the look of the curved edges and I agree that the curved edges do look cool, but they're just not that functional. There have been times where my palm just kind of touches the side of the phone and presses on something or kind of swipes on something that I didn't mean for it to do. And also those curves make it kind of difficult to go edge to edge when you're using the S Pen. You're trying to use the S Pen and you want to get something on the edge there and it just doesn't feel quite right. Anyway, long story short, I'm not the biggest fan of how the curved edges almost interfere with my use of the device. But aside from that, the display itself, like I said, it is large, it looks great, even if it's not the brightest when it comes to whites, that's just one nitpick of mine. But other than that, it's a, it's a beautiful AMOLED display. Up next, let's talk about the fingerprint reader, because that's another thing that you're gonna use a lot if you set it up. You're gonna use the display pretty much anytime you're using the phone, and you're gonna use the fingerprint reader if you wanna get into the phone, unless you use one of the other biometric options or don't lock your phone at all. Now what I found is that since the Galaxy S10 a few months ago, the fingerprint reader is a little more sensitive in a good way. It actually can read my fingerprint a little faster than it used to, but it still seems to be kind of hit or miss. I find using the face recognition to be more consistent and to open up faster than trying to use the in-display built-in fingerprint reader. I feel like it's still not quite there yet with just being a seamless experience, but let me know if you guys use in-display fingerprint readers, if you're finding something different, if you're actually using a device that is able to unlock first time every time when you use an in-display fingerprint reader, because I'm finding that the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is not doing it. All right, next up, let's talk about the color for just a moment. There's not really much to it. It's not gonna change the functionality of the phone, but as you can see there, this Aura Glow color, it's pretty interesting. It, it catches the light, reflects it all in different ways, giving you a multicolor experience on the phone. But that's really for other people though, because when I'm using my phone, I'm rarely using it by looking at the back of the device. I'm always looking at the screen. So that, that's really for everybody else. And over 90% of people put their phones in cases. So unless you have a clear case, who's really gonna see that? That said, the Aura Glow color is gorgeous, but it is also a fingerprint magnet. Picks up fingerprints immediately. Galaxy Note 10 Plus does have Gorilla Glass 6 on the front and back, which does help it shine up that rainbow effect. But like I said, you will need a case if you're scared of dropping it and damaging it. And if that's you, throwing a case on there, even if it's a clear one, is gonna mute that effect just a little bit. One thing people have been asking me about, next topic, is that front facing camera. The camera cutout that is centered at the top of the display. Now I think the centered 10 megapixel front facing camera is far less distracting than the Galaxy S10 Plus's selfie cam that's placed over to the top right of the display with a dual cutout or even a single cutout on the regular S10. So rather than having it off to the side and making things unbalanced, I actually prefer having it just right there in the center, keeping things looking even. And speaking of that camera, by the way, let's talk about the camera tools that Samsung has included on the Note 10. Live focus video does work pretty well, but I'm not sure it's giving you the exact effect that you would think it would. So it's something you're gonna have to play around with. 
Sometimes it works really well, gives you natural looking blur. Other times the blur is just out of control. The zoom in audio works as advertised, but the effect was more subtle than I expected it to be. And of course, image quality is gonna suffer if you zoom in too much on your subject. The new built-in video editor was pretty simple to use, allowing you to do things like trim or add in a music track. Next up, let's talk about another important feature, battery life. The battery on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus truly does seem to last all day. And when you recharge with the included 25 watt charger, it goes impressively fast. I was able to get the 4,300 milliamp hour battery inside the Note 10 Plus charged full within 65 minutes when using that included charger. But it should be said and it should be a reminder, I mentioned this in the top five features video of the Galaxy Note 10. Be sure to check that video out. I will leave a link in the description below. The Galaxy Note 10 supports 25 watt charging, but the Note 10 Plus actually supports up to 45 watt charging, but the 45 watt charger is not included in the box. Both phones come with the 25 watt charger. So if you pick up that 45 watt charger, you'll be able to charge from zero to full in almost half the time that I just mentioned. You'll probably get there within 30 minutes if you pick up that 45 watt charger. Up next, let's talk about the S Pen. The S Pen stylus is shorter and thinner than the one found in the Note 9. The buttons seem harder to accidentally press, which is a good thing, and it also feels less substantial, and I'm not sure how I feel about that part yet. The new S Pen gesture controls do take some getting used to, but once you get them down, they are easy to use. Of course, they're a lot more comfortable to use when you're sitting rather than when you're on the move. And of course, just a quick note on performance. Again, this is just a week in with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, but that Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 platform is keeping this phone moving along fast and quickly. I have no complaints so far with the responsiveness found on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which is a good thing because in previous years, sometimes Samsung phones felt a little sluggish, even out of the gate, not so with the Note 10 Plus. There you have it guys, that was your look at the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. My impressions after using the device for a full week. Any questions you have, drop them down in the comments below. I will meet you there for further discussion. And don't forget, click on over. I will leave a link here as well as down in the description. There are a couple of other videos on the Galaxy Note 10 that you're probably gonna wanna take a look at. First is my top five features video, the five features that stand out to me as I use the phone. And second is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, what Samsung didn't tell you about the device. Again, links will be down below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and also that subscribe button and bell notification icon in case you wanna stay up to date on future videos released here on the channel. Also big shout out by the way to Ben Mitchell and Aaron from For The Love Of Tech. They have been subscribers on the YouTube account. They have been members for a full 12 months. If you want to join the membership team, head over to youtube.com slash gear live slash join where you can find out all about the benefits and perks of joining the channel as a member. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Edwards, and I will catch you in the next video.